Now that we've learned how to change the markings of our performers, the placement of our labels, and the layout of our page and markings, the only thing left to do is actually print. So let's head on over to print mode and scroll through, make sure we have everything set up the way that we want it one last time. And under the second tab here is print and it says use the multi-range sliders in the timeline to choose a starting and ending set. In case you don't know, the multi-range sliders are the blue and purple sliders located directly above the playback sliders, those being green and red. So if I want to print just the first page, I can set my sliders to begin and end at the first set. If I want to print back the entire production, I just take my purple slider and slide it all the way to the end. Now you can see that beginning set is set one, and set is set seven, and my print range, print, print range, and my print range is from one to 19. Now the reason that I have seven sets and 19 pages is because I have a whole mess of subsets in here. Each one of those is going to print, but you can see that if I zoom in, every subset only prints for the performers who are attached to that subset. So here we go. We can either hit print and choose printing options or we can hit save to PDF and choose a place to save our PDF. Now that we know how to print a range of pages, let's take a look at the last possible option that you have, which is to change the color of the different lines on the page, as well as the performers. I've gone ahead and given these performers some colors just to mark their sections uh, with winds, percussion, and color guard. One reason for doing this might be in 3D mode, you can use, instead of your uh, marching performers or your X's, you can use uh, these colored markers to help you define your different sections. But come print time, you might want everything in black and white. So let's go to print mode, and down at the bottom, make all performers black. Color all. And that will just take all of your performers and switch them back to black. Down here at the bottom, outline thickness is the thickness of the line that comes right at the edge of the actual canvas. 